Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious falafel recipe. This falafel recipe comes from one of my favorite websites, IsraeliKitchen.com, where it's loaded with lots of Mediterranean food, like this particular recipe, which I'm gonna show you right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is soak our dried chickpeas. Just want enough water to cover. And just soak them overnight. And just to show you the size difference between soaked chickpeas and the dried ones, you can see how much they've changed. Now that I've ground up the chickpeas, the soaked chickpeas, I'm just gonna add them to a mixing bowl here. So we're just gonna mix in some chopped red onion. And as always, I'll put the full instructions for the ingredient measurements in the show notes so you don't have to follow along right now. Just kind of sit back and watch the show. I'm gonna throw in some chopped parsley. Some garlic. And some cumin. Some coriander. Salt and pepper. And just a little bit of chili flakes. And now we're just gonna mix that all together. I like to mix this all together before adding in the flour, just for consistency reasons. So this is flour plus a little baking powder. Just mix this in a little bit at a time. And you can see it's already starting to clump up, which will make it really easy for shaping it into falafel balls. There's a little bit of moisture in here already just from soaking the chickpeas, so you can see it's starting to stick together, but we'll add in a little bit more water towards the end, just enough to keep it, to keep the shape. So, as you can see here, it's starting to almost kind of hold its shape. Let's add a little bit of water. You'll kind of have to judge this part by yourself, but you'll probably end up using about a fourth of a cup. If you want enough just for it to stick together, don't make it mushy. That's looking about right. Yeah, that's looking good. So now we're just gonna roll these, roll the mix here into balls. You just want it to be about the size of like, you know, a walnut, like in its shell, something like that. And we're gonna roll the falafel and sesame seeds before frying them. And now we're just gonna fry the falafels. You wanna gently lower them into the hot oil. It's important to not overcrowd your hot oil. The bubbling you see happening is the water in the falafel being cooked and then pushing out any oil that's trying to come in. So that's that water steaming and that's what actually is important during frying. You want that the bubbling to happen and that's what prevents them from getting soggy and overly saturated with oil. And I like to serve my falafels in a pita with, with some spring greens and a little bit of sauce there. So there you have a basic falafel recipe. Enjoy. Hmm. Super good. This recipe has been brought to you by IsraeliKitchen.com.